Hello, it's Pele here from Editing Visuals and in today's video I will be showing you guys how to make the vortex effect you guys saw in the beginning. Let's get right to it. So the first thing you're going to do is to import your footage and choose a clip you want to use. I'm going to use this clip of Central C here and after you have chosen your clip and imported it you're going to be a roto brush in the clip here and uh, and if you don't know how to roto brush I made a tutorial on it which will be linked in the description. After you have roto brush it should look something like this here and uh, you're going to be pressing Control D on this layer here and then on the bottom layer here you're going to delete the roto brush effect so you can see the background. Now we're going to be use a script called Muir and it's going to look something like this here. Pretty, pretty clean so the settings we're going to be using here are going to be the default on the strength and size but on the space we're going to set that one to 75 pattern movement is going to be 167 and the rest should be good after that we're going to be adding effects to the composition layer here you guys can see we're going to be using screen as the blending mode so it's going to look something like this now we're going to start adding turbulent displays keyframe the amount 50 in the beginning and then in the ending set it to zero and the size is going to be 300 and you're going to be keyframe the evolution as well so press the clock here go to the ending set it to one lap here mark all the keyframes press f9 start with the amount graph here it's going to look something like this and go out and choose the evolution open up the graph and make it look like this here so it has a impact in the beginning and depending on what kind of look you want to have you can turn up or turn down the flickering in the mirror here but yeah after the turbulent displays you're going to be adding deep glow here we're going to go pretty high up with the radius up to 800 and the exposure is going to be free the rest should be good after that we're going to be adding warp and here we're going to be choosing on warp style fisheye and set the bend to minus 100 click on the clock here in the beginning go to the ending and set it to zero open the layer up warp once again mark the keyframes f9 open the graph and here make the same kind of look here then we're going to add warp vortex you're going to start off by setting the vortex start to minus 300. After that, click the clock, keyframe it in the ending to minus 50. And after that, you can open the layer again here. Warp vortex, mark the keyframes, press F9, open the graph up. The same kind of graph, so you get the impact in the beginning. After that, to get a little bit more cooler colors to this, I'm going to add four color gradient. And here we're going to go with a lighter blue on color one. On color two and three, we're going to have the pink purple kind of color here. And the fourth color is going to be the same blue as the color one. Set the blending mode to hue. After that, we're going to be adding flicker. Change the random color amplitude to 0.5. And then we're going to be adding dissolve luma. And here we're going to set that one at zero in the beginning. Go to the ending, set it to 100%. Open up the graph here again. Mark the keyframes, F9. Open the graph up, make the impact like this. After that, we're going to be adding edge detect. And here we're going to be using the normal settings, as it already is. And then we're going to be adding deep glow. Set the radius to 500, and then the exposure to 1.37 it's going to look something like this here pretty pretty clean when you see the compare you're going to drag the rotor brush layer you did before above this mirror effect here so it's going to look more realistic you guys can see the clip gets brighter in the end here so i'm going to make the rotor brush layer uh, glow and get brighter as well in the ending so what you're going to do is to press ctrl d on the rotor brush layer and here we're going to be adding glow adjust the glow Set the glow intensity to 0.5. Press Ctrl D on the glow. And here increase the radius to 250. Drag down the glow intensity to 0.3. Again, press Ctrl D on the glow. Increase the radius to 600. Set the intensity to 0.2. After that, you're going to be adding four color gradient. Lighter blue up here. Use the same pink there. Light blue here again. And then choose the blending mode color. It's going to look something like this. And after that, you're going to set the blending mode of the layer to screen. But this is how it looks now. Open the layer up here. Transform. Make the opacity 0, go to the ending, set it to 100. Mark the keyframes, press F9, open the graph up, open the graph up, make the graph like that. Pretty, pretty cool in my opinion, but if you guys want to get an even cooler look, you can add some effects from my TV glitch pack V2. I'm going to be adding the 10th and the 18th effect from that pack and show you guys how it's going to look on top of this effect here. So this is how the 10th effect is going to look, pretty, pretty cool. 
And this is how the 18th effect from the TV Glitch Pack V2 is going to look. It looks absolutely amazing in my opinion. And if you guys think the same and if you guys enjoyed this tutorial, please like and subscribe. And check out our website, editingvisuals.com. We also have some socials you guys can check out. Other than that, I will see you guys soon. Take care and have a nice day.